Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video I'm going to talk about coding a Milky Way Galaxy animation with your Snow Engine. So the structure of the Milky Way Galaxy is like a spiral with the barred core and spiral arms, and the whole galaxy also rotates around the core. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a Milky Way Galaxy animation with the Yersna Engine, and I hope you like it. So first of all, we want to import our Yersna module. So from Yersna, import star. And we want to import numpy as I'm going to import as np. And so now to just set up our Yersna, we could just write app is equal to Yersna and app dot run. And this will just create a window. So now let's create um, let's add some parameters. So let's create an a variable which equals one. And this is a constant value for the spiral formula that is used for the arms. Now I'm going to create a num variable equal to 60. And this is the number of entities that we're going to be using for each arm. And I'm going to have a theta is equal to np dot uh, lin space zero um, three times n np dot pi and num. And theta is a numpy array that contains the angle for each entity. And also note that this np.lin space creates a creates an evenly spaced array uh, in the range of 0 to 3 pi. So now let's create the spiral arms. And here we're gonna have four different arms. So I'm gonna have a b variable is equal to 0.2, x1 is equal to a times np dot cosine theta times np dot exp b times theta uh, y1 is equal to a times np dot sine theta times np dot exp b times theta and e1 is equal to none times num and x2 is equal to negative a times np dot cosine theta times np dot x p b times theta uh, y2 is equal to negative a times np dot sine theta oops np dot sine theta times np dot ex p b times theta times theta and e2 is equal to none times num. So these are the two formulas for the two arms. B is another constant value for the spiral formula and it is set to 0.2 for the first two arms. Now x1, y1, x2, and y2, these are the coordinates of the entities making up for the arms or making up the arms. And e1 and e2 are two empty lists that will hold the entities for the two first two arms. And so now let's create, or let's add in our b2, or just b is equal to 0.25, x3 is equal to a times np dot cosine theta times np dot exp, b times theta, this will just be, um, I'll just copy this. And instead, this would be np dot sine. Uh, this will be instead of x3, y3. And I'll have a e3 list equal to none times num. And now I will do the same thing here. So copy and then paste. Now this would be x4, y4, and now these are the um, third and fourth formulas for the arms, and b here is at 2.25 for these two arms. So this should be negative a. So, so x4 is equal to negative a times np dot cosine theta, y4 is equal to negative a times np dot cosine theta. Okay, so now let's create the entities for the four arms. And in order to create these four arms, we can reuse a for loop. So for i in 
range num uh, e1 index i is equal to a new entity new entity um, the model is equal to a sphere we're going to have the color equal to color dot red set the scale equal to 0.1 set the position equal to uh, x1 index i y1 index i and we basically just create the entity for e1 so now let's do this for e2 3 and 4 so i'll just copy and paste right here so e2 e e2 e3 e4 and right here x2 x3 and x4 and i'll change this to y2 y3 y4 and this is just to avoid rewriting all this again and now what we could do is also change this color so instead of changing it to red for each entity i'm going to change uh this entity to color dot green now this one to color dot yellow and oops also the last one to color dot cyan so if i save and run this now we have our spirals basically um outside okay so now we can add in our um bar core bar to core at the center and to add in our bar to core we can just create an entity so entity model equal to model equal to a sphere i will set the scale equal to 2.61 set the color equal to color dot rgb 255 255 204 now if i run this we have our core in the center, basically. Okay, so now that we have our uh, foundation, our core, and our spirals, now let's add some rotation. So we're going to finish up this animation with our rotation. And to add in our rotation, well, we need to add an, add an update function, which is going to um, rotate the camera around the z-axis to basically uh, give the illusion that the Milky Way is rotating and moving. And so I'm going to create a angle variable which is zero down here and now in order to create our update function i'll write define update and remember that this update function is called once per frame i'll declare the global angle variable and every single time this update function is called i will decrease angle by 0.5 and rotate the camera around the z-axis by the angle so camera dot rotation uh, around the z-axis um, by angle and now if I save and run this now we basically have our animation so it's basically spir spiraling around and that's it so this is the end of this video thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time